guys, welcome back to another Division video. This video is pretty much a continuation of uh, my last stand video yesterday where I was melting people. In this video you're going to see he's melting people in the dark zone and also the AI on Lexington Event Centre. Yeah, but just so you know, I haven't changed a single bit of this build going from PV PvP to PvE. Uh, if you would like to just try out a new build or you are sick of running same old crap like I am, I mean I'm always running my hexo build. Uh, or if you're just struggling to actually come up with a build, please run this. You do a lot of damage, you've got some survivability. Obviously, my gear is not mid max, so you could make it even better. Uh, if you would like to see the last stand gameplay, I will leave a link to that in the description, so go check that out. If you would like to jump straight into the build, jump to uh, 6 minutes 28 seconds, and I'll see you uh, all there.
Okay guys, let's get on with the build. Jump straight into my lightweight M4. It's got 22% enemy armor damage, 22.5k base damage. Comes with responsive, brutal and competent. I would have preferred deadly instead of brutal, but get what I'm given. My Navy MP5N's got 22.5% critical hit chance, 20.2k base damage. It comes with competent, responsive and hurried. It's pretty much just a, a follow-up weapon. Um, onto my chest piece, my striker's harness. Got 1,876 armor. Comes with 1400 firearms rule. It's also got enemy armor damage, health, and ammo capacity. My Predator's Mark mask has got 969 armor. It's ruled for electronics with 1220. Comes with skill power and blind death resistance. So it's a pretty bad mask, but I live with it. My strike has knee pads. I've got 1573 armor, 1300 firearms rule. Comes with health, burn resistance, shot resistance, and increased kill XP. Not the worst pair of knee pads I've ever had. My strike as holster has got 999 armor. It's got all right stats, just our stamina could have been a bit higher and comes with health. My Predator's Mark Gloves have got 920 armor rule, a 1200 firearms rule, assault rifle damage, critical hit chance and critical hit damage. So they're, they are pretty good gloves. My Ninja Bite Messenger Bag is shit. It's got 1228 armor, a 1500 firearms rule. And comes with... <laughs> this is where it gets interesting. Comes with stability and disrupt resistance. So if you've got a better ninja bike bag than this then yeah we're already on to a better build for those of you that don't know the ninja bike messenger bag it allows you to have so say as you've seen there i'm running three striker so in turn it gives us four piece um and anyway, i'm running scrambler pulse so obviously it hides us from enemy pulses with booster shot and recovery link because I mainly play solo anyway guys if you did find this video helpful please hit that like button and subscribe for future video if you've got any more questions about the build don't hesitate to put it down in the comments and I will reply when I learn to speak English we'll reply to you as soon as possible thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one